Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome and today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off uh, this Defender 90 in uh, black and white that you can see behind me lurking. Um, two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of uh, engine action as well I think. I um, hope you like them. Okay, let's take a look around this uh, Land Rover Defender 90 with TD5 power. Um, now, I would say what year it is, but uh, <laughs> um, it's registered on the V5 as 1991, but it has been imported and it looks very much to me like it's actually a TD5 from around 2004. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know, it's certainly come to us from, unimpe from an unimpeachable source, so uh, I don't think you have any, uh, any worries that way that it's been stolen or cloned or anything. Uh, we've certainly done all the checks we can on it. Um, but it has got a galvanised chassis on it. I suspect what's happened, it's 1991 identity, possibly over in Ireland, been rebuilt over in Ireland and came here in, I think, possibly about 2014, 2015. I can't be absolutely sure, I'm afraid. Um, but so it is on a galvanised chassis and as far as I can see, the vast majority, if not all of the body shell is TD5. Um, certainly mechanically it's all TD5 with the uh, R380 gearbox and what have you um, and the TD5 motor so um, yeah <laughs> I just think it's been rebuilt from uh, and for some reason they used the identity of an of an earlier car when they uh, when they rebuilt it but uh, I'm afraid I don't know the answer um, finished in white with a black roof and black accents um, nicely done actually uh, nice black boost alloys with a matching set of BFG um, mud terrains on there. Nice set of four. Um, it's missing its spare wheel. I'm afraid we haven't got any spare wheels at the minute. Um, so you might have to find yourself a spare wheel for it. But uh, you can always get them off of eBay, but it'd be nice to get a matching boost, I suppose. Um, as you see, um, galvanized chassis, tow pack on it, mud flaps on the rear. Uh, it's got sliding side windows and alpine lights and what have you. I suspect it did actually start life as a pickup um, because a you've got the uh, the mounting in there for um, for the spare wheel, but also there's no wash wipe buttons inside. Uh, so I suspect it did start life as a uh, as a pickup truck uh, with a sort of a county station wagon top put on it with Alpine lights and what have you. Uh, it's got a Mantec snorkel. Um, galvanized rock and tree sliders on it just yeah nicely done though gloss black um, headlamp surrounds and grill pretty car anyway let's take a closer look around it obviously it's been repainted um, the HPI shows I think that white was the color of the original one so they've painted it white um, I think this one was possibly Certainly a couple of bits I can see on these, possibly dark blue originally. Um, bumper's in good shape. It's all quite nice around the front. The repaint is okay, so it was done about six years ago. A couple of chips on it here and there, such as there. Uh, bonnet's quite nice. Looking down the side, there's a couple of chips down here. But apart from a small dent in the barrel side on the passenger door where someone's used it to uh, try and shut the door, um, it's pretty clean down there. Let's have a look in here. So here's galvanized chassis on this one. A post. A couple of runs just up there. Um, scuffle. Corner there. Now you probably can probably see you've got a crack in the screen there, uh, which I'm afraid I did. Uh, so it will be having a brand new screen put in it as part of the sale. We've got our MOT it anyway. Um, so yeah, it's going to have a new screen in it. Colour-coded mirrors. Um, bottom of the passenger door has got one or two tiny bubbles in the paint on it. And say so we have got a little dent just there, which has broken the paint just there. It's a shame. door bottom they're the earlier type doors but this door bottom feels to be in good shape and we've got the bulkhead there can we remove this mat almost it's 
the matting underneath there. Fully matted inside, um, vinyl seats in denim twill, middle seat as well. Middle seat's got a small mark on it just there. Full anthracite headlining, um, TD5 dash, one miss missing switch blank there, but um, and we've got a, a, uh, a stereo in there, although I can't see an aerial on it anywhere, but um, certainly the stereo lights up. Um, nice matting kit all around there. Near side rear wing, a couple of bits of paint lifting a little bit just there under the top top trim and a small blemish there. Yeah, a couple of blemishes underneath the, um, the soft top um, lashing points. Again, we'll have a look underneath the back end. And then around the tail end, all looks quite smart. It's all been checker plated in the back, black checker plate, again, quite neatly done. Although some of the, um, the coating is coming off. And tailgate base is really good. I think that must be a pretty new tailgate on the back of that, because that's in excellent condition. Looking down the offside, very straight indeed down there. Have got a bit of electrolytic reaction just coming up here on the back of the offside rear wing. But otherwise, apart from a couple of touched in areas on the eyebrow, <coughs> excuse me, um, gloss black paint on the roof is quite nice. Another small touched in bit just there. And again, a little bit of bubbling just on the base of the door frames on the driver's door and skins. Offside front wing is all quite good. Scuttle corner very good. Got its snorkel. Did we have a look under here? I can't remember. Let's have a look now. And then again, we'll go inside. Bit of a chunk missing out of the door card just there. But again, the frame on the base of the driver's door feels absolutely fine. No problems there. Scuttle. Showing just under 128,000 miles, and obviously that refers to the mechanics of the vehicle rather than the um, the total mileage that the identity might have covered, for want of a better term. Um, driver's seat's got a small nick in it just there, uh, but otherwise, there we have it. And as I say, we will be putting a, a new screen in, unless the owner, new owner wants to claim it on their insurance, but I think we've got to get it done for the MOT anyway. So there we have it. Um, my name is Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. We can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com. Right, I'll just do a video of start up an engine running on this uh, Defender 90. Try and get out without moving the camera too much. There we have it.